Hello everyone and welcome to the Fireside Chat. I'm Sabine Lomnik from the Mobile and Wireless Forum and today I'm very happy to sit here with Evadian Hogawa from the Triple ATE, the Association for the Advancement of Assistive Technology in Europe, which is a mouthful. It's a mouthful. <laughs> Perfectly. So, Evetian, you're the Secretary General of this Association of Assistive Technology Experts. And as such, what are your first impressions of the Zero Project Conference? Um, well, very positive. It's, uh, it's amazing to see uh, all these experiences from all the world being brought here together. Um, it's, uh, it again, it confirms how accessibility and assistive technology are closely related fields. Uh, and it's also very good to see how much progress is made all through all through the the world. Uh, we've uh, increasingly also countries where uh, that maybe mm, are still sort of a, in starting up phase in the implementation of assistive technology services are actually present and can talk about their experiences. So it's it's a, it's a great moment I think for uh, for the field. Is there something concrete that you take home as homework? Um, well, I think that we should increasingly focus, have that global focus, because uh, sometimes we have the impression that maybe countries that have already developed assistive technology infrastructures, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, uh, have everything in place, and that's not always true. Uh, we can still learn from all those countries that and all those organizations working uh, across the globe that actually uh, drive innovation and step into the field. <coughs> quite differently from what we did. Uh, I further would like to take home the, the perspective of the, um, uh, the, the, the inclusion and, 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 and how you can learn from experiences and from that try to build up uh, more, let's say, policy orientations. I think what is, what is still missing very much is more appropriate policies to drive further this, uh, this field. Wonderful. Okay. So I heard that you are also organizing a big conference in July already, the ICCHB Triple ATE 2022 conference. So <laughs> again, a very huge title. How will that conference be different? And for the people here attending the Zero Project, is that something that they would be interested in? Is that something that they should attend? And if yes, should they engage? Wh how would that work? <coughs> Yeah, no, thank you for the question, uh, Sabine. Uh, the conference is actually uh, organized in July in, in Lecco in Italy. And uh, for the first time, we uh, organize our conference together with ICCHP, which is an, uh, already an established conference on, on uh, accessibility-related issues and assistive technology in, in Europe. Um, so that will be a, a quite interesting experience. Uh, the AAAT conference so far has always been, uh, let's say, more scientifically oriented, uh, but that is rapidly changing over the last uh, four or five editions of the conference. We have increasingly tried to bring in that more, uh, let's say, uh, uh, multiple stakeholder perspective. So trying to bring on board also service providers, uh, uh, policy makers, companies, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, because we believe that that dialogue. Uh, um, uh, I mean that that that. Uh, effective outcomes in, in furthering the, the, the assistive technology agenda in, in Europe uh, can only be based if everybody, uh, if all stakeholders are on board and, and participate. So that is becoming something and sort of a characteristics of our conference that you can meet really a lot of people from different fields. But, and that's a major difference with, with maybe the Zero Project Conference, there's a very robust scientific part to it as well. So. We expect more than 250 uh, presentations from uh, researchers all over the world. And uh, so, yeah, that, that is actually a good basis then to further discuss. So the conference is then entirely focused on academics or if I'm rather, if I'm an end user or an NGO and an advocacy person, would I still be in the right place? Yeah, you're definitely in the right place. Uh, it's, um, as I tried to say, it, it's, it's not only academics. We increasingly uh, uh, are experimenting different formats as well, like, for example, educational sessions that are more focusing on, uh, on, on um, uh, professionals in the field, uh, policy sessions which are focusing more on, okay, how can we uh, learn from the research and from the concrete experiences 
like the ones that we see here in, in, in Vienna in the Zero Project Conference, and, and turn that into uh, policy recommendations. Uh, and you can meet companies. There's an innovation area where uh, companies have the opportunities to, uh, to showcase their uh, prototypes and innovative products. Uh, an important buzzword in AAAT is uh, innovation. And um, so that's also how we review uh, submissions, for example. We really want it, uh, that people get a, a state-of-the-art overview uh, of the field when they come to the conference. Wonderful. Then going forward, how do you see, where do you see the touch points, the, mo the most pertinent touch points between the Zero Project and Triple ATE, and then also going forward between the conferences, where do you see the most fruitful ways for collaboration? Um, well, it's, uh, not, it's not the first time that we're here, um, and um, I have to say that that interaction between uh, looking into experiences coming from all over the world and to translate it into new uh, research topics, new policy topics, new um, um, training, I mean, new proposals for training, responding to training needs, uh, uh, all that is actually happening in a transition from what we he have here and what we can offer in the AAAT conference. So, um, and we increasingly have global players on board as well. Um, AAAT is one of the founding members of the GATO uh, association, which, uh, we will be, uh, which we will talk about in the next session. Uh, and uh, so that's the Global Alliance of Assisted Technology Organizations, because we really feel that we have to make that uh, collaboration with all our sister organizations across the world uh, to be able to drive the, the agenda forward. Excellent. Now, talking to all the Zero Project audience, what, how can they engage with AAAT? How can they support the association to fulfill the mission, to get engaged, to tap into the potential of AAAT? Um, so AAAT is a membership organization. You can, first of all, become a member. Um, either as an individual or as an institute. Uh, we have more than over 40 institutional members. Uh, of course, it's, it's logical that you live or work in Europe, but that's not a requirement. You, we have members uh, all across the world. Uh, and uh, our mission is very much uh, you know, uh, inspired by the UN Convention on the Rights of People with Disabilities. And that is our approach to assistive technology as well. So if you share that idea, if you share those ideas and that approach, then you can take part in our activities. And uh, of course, the main activity is still the conference. That's the place where uh, all the AAAT members meet and, uh, uh, and, and work together. Uh, but we also do projects. Uh, we participate in European projects. Um, you can invite AAAT to become um, a member of your consortium in case you are thinking about developing projects. So, yeah, and, and the perspective is also quite broad. It's not just about assistive technology in the traditional, uh, let's say, in, in uh, meaning of the word. We also address accessibility, design for all, um, more recent ambient assisted living technologies, smart home technologies, and more recently also uh, technology in digital healthcare, person centered technologies in digital healthcare. And all that is uh, represented in the, in the conference. So, it's, it's an Actually, it's a very nice uh, way of getting updated in three days, four days time, uh, because there's a pre-conference -pro program as well. Um, and that's the reason why most people come back after two years, because it just gives them that opportunity to be in touch with the advancements of AT in the world. Wonderful. Thank you very much. So one last key message to the Zero Project audience. What would you like them to do right after this conference? Get in touch or consult a certain document or how can they help? Uh, you can go to the website, uh, ICCHP, uh, uh, um, org, sorry. Uh, and uh, the call for papers or abstracts is still open until the 3rd of March. Uh, afterwards, we start to flesh out the program related to the educational sessions and uh, policy sessions, uh, project meetings. So you can use that opportunity. There's a great campus with a lot of facilities in, in, in LECO. 
um, all that can be submitted later as well. So just get in touch with us and we'll find the right forum for you to participate in. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Evadian.